Hi, I'm Renee Antos. I've been an agent for 11 years with Academy Travel. Over the past few years, I've been doing a lot more destination and groups, and I've been able to use Travify to help make myself look like a rock star. So I'd really like to show you some examples of how I've used Travify to grow my business. I'm going to show you one of my destination weddings and how I built it and the information that I used. So let's preview it first. So this is Hannah and Kevin were getting married. And so I wanted to have all the information up here, contact me about me and request a quote along with the additional information. I was able to build a cute little blurb about them and when their date is and how excited they are. This was something that I gave to them to fill out that they wanted to share with their guests. Next came the actual resort, which I'm able, I was able to pull right in from a, a Travify itinerary that I had already set up. So I just cleaned it up a bit so that it didn't have any personal information, but it goes over the resort, dining, clothing requirements, things like that. So that that way they had all the information about the resort. Next that came up was regarding the rooms. So we selected a number of rooms, three rooms to be within the category for them to choose from. And there are three separate payments with the type of group, the contracted group that we used. So I made sure that there was information on when each of those payments were due so that that way the clients had all the information for them up front. And then they could always request this. The button that I have went right into a form so that they could request what balance due that they needed to be able to make their payments. Next up came the room block. So this was where I expanded and did um, another page that had all of the rooms in it. I actually used a form to do this. So let's explore this. So again, there's our cute wedding couple and then went over a little bit about the resort and the different types of room, the three categories that we chose. And then I wanted to elaborate a little bit on it. So their number one option was a junior suite. Here's pricing for double, this pricing for four nights, five nights, and then the other two options. So a junior suite and then another preferred club with the pricing. So those were the, the ones that we had chosen in our contract with the pricing. And then here was where they can fill out their exact information to send it to me to get the price. Wanted to include how many number of rooms. We had some families that were going that need more, to, more than one room. This is a place for them to, instead of filling out two different forms, just fill it out in one place. The number of people in each room, number of nights, and then I had, did have to remind them it was over late leap year, so wanted to make sure that they had the right, correct number of nights. So I made them fill out the exact dates. And then of course, choose which room they were interested in. And if they were interested in another category, let's say they wanted to, you know, an ocean front that wasn't necessarily on our options, I could reach out to the resort. So if there was something else that they wanted that they would select that for me and I would go get that priced out for them again. Here's my, my information for them to reach out to me directly. And then that came to me as a form. They were booking their flights separately. So this was important for me because I needed to then, to set up their transfers, I needed their flight information. So this linked back to another form. What's your lead guest? What's your flight information, your arrival, your departure? And that was simple. They would just fill that in. It would come to me. I would fill it into the form from the vendor. And that's how we went passports, passports, passports. We know how important this is. You know, if they see it there, they can't say that I didn't put it there. So there was a few items on this that I really wanted to cover myself that I informed them what was required for them to go here. So here's this section, your passports and your entry form. Those were the two main things that you needed to get there. And then to continue to cover myself, you always need to have travel protection or I strongly recommend it. Um, so I let them know that if they were going to book the travel protection through the vendor that needed to be done within seven days, these are some other options. Um, and I gave them options both that I can quote and that other people that are, they could find on their own, just so they didn't feel that I was pressuring them into, you know, buying what I was selling or something like that. So this was another form. So yes, please give me a quote through AIG, travel guard, both. Um, and then the information to collect for that, for me to give them that quote. So, and again, on the bottom, quick little link back, even though this was at the top, contact me, my Facebook, my Instagram, email me, interested in a quote, another form information. So this is, you know, in the future, if they didn't want that, how do you want to travel, flexible dates. Now we're going to exit out and go back into how I built the website, the landing page. So 
I was able to easily just pull in these little tabs. We're saying I do, their picture. There's nothing really interactive with this one. So I just keep going back down. Secrets of Royal Beach, so the information, like I said, this was actually an itinerary that I built. So down in here where it says more information, you could see the link to the actual itinerary that I was able to put in there. Room payments, again, another form, super easy, just right in here, you put your little picture and then the inquire about a balance due form that I had created. So they're all in my form inventory, my library. The group room block, that was also a form. So that is also right in here. We'll request a quote that was right in our, my library. Again, flights booked, submit that, submit the form for your, if your flights are booked. And then the travel protection, same thing, request. That was also a form that I was able to pull in from my form itinerary. So a lot of these are already in my forms and my libraries. So when the next wedding comes, then I can always clear these out or do a copy of the reservation and then clear it out. And I create this that I can send to my new clients. And it just kind of has all of the same elements that I just sent to them. But now I changed to our destination wedding, switched out the picture. So it's not as personal. I've added some X's in for dates saying I do. I did leave the, the this resort in just so they had an idea of once they choose the resort, this is where the information will go. Sneak peek at our wedding venue, a little bit of additional information. And then um, as you can see here, the Amstar portion, that's their transfer company. I didn't have that in the other one, but I switched these in and out. So I might modify and add Amstar in as it gets closer so that they are aware of what their, where their transfers are, how to find them. And this is actually the trans, the Amstar is a itinerary that I have set up. And in that it has, you know, map pictures and how to get there, how to find them, contact information, phone numbers, all of that, and how they're supposed to get their return transfers. Again, another travel protection, but I'm able to use these and move them around for what I, whether I need it or not, you know, as at the end of the reservation, at the end of the wedding, I didn't really need the room information. I no longer needed the pricing. All of that was already done and over with. There was still information about the resort. So this was the third time I did a, a copy and then kept the copy from the original and then did this where I, this was the last thing that I sent out to them where it was the resort, the wedding venue, passport and entry. And then I added this, which was a guest flight list so that they can compare other people and what flights they were on so that they can find other people. So if they felt that they were traveling alone, they would know who else was on that. And that was something that I generated from the vendor. So, and then our lovely Amstar people and show them what the shirts look like and then the transfer information here. And again, that was a, an itinerary part that I usually include in all of my itineraries for all inclusives. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot. I thoroughly love using Travify for my destination wedding landing pages. It is so easy to use and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.